Supporting cutting edge technology is the cornerstone that Gibbs Cam was really built on. You know, from the beginning, Bill Gibbs set out to make manufacturing automation easier to use. That was the whole idea of Gibbs Cam. And in Gibbs Cam 14, this continues with hybrid machines. A hybrid CNC machine is a machine that combines both additive and subtractive manufacturing. Let's take a look and see how they work. Hybrid machines use a process called cladding. Cladding lays down a bead of material by using a combination of shielding gas, a laser, and some type of material. That material may be in the form of a powder or a wire. All of these technologies are supported in Gibbs Cam 14. Not only are they supported, but programming a hybrid CNC machine is as easy in Gibbs Cam as you would expect. I'm just going to pull down that cladding head here and I'm going to pick what I want to do. I'm going to contour this shape. And I'm just going to go ahead and click do it. And let's go ahead and see that in simulation. So here we can see the laser and the gas shield around it and the material being laid down. That's the additive part. Let's talk about the subtractive part, right? Because it's hybrid. I'm going to pull down this cutter. And I want to clean up the outside of that, make those corners square. So I'm just going to go ahead and just make a really quick contour on this. Now let's go ahead and see what we've got. So there's my bead being laid down. And now here's my cutter coming in and just cleaning up the outside of that. So this is a pretty basic example, laying down some material and taking some away. Let's look at a more complex application. In this example, this injection mold is a little bit worse for wear. These knobs are made out of some really abrasive plastic, so the core is really worn down. So what I want to do is I want to replace just this core, these core pieces, using hybrid technology. So I'll show you how easy that is in Gibbs Cam. First thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and throw all this stuff in my body bag. And now just lay down material. Now I've done a little bit of pre-baking here, but we can see that with the technology, I have some options here, zigzag, I can do a rectangular fill, a circular fill, custom. These additive operations are gonna be what's gonna lay the material down and then they're gonna be followed up by these three axis operations that's gonna go ahead and machine out that knob. So let's go ahead and see this in simulation. If we zoom in here, we can see that it's laying down these beads of material, but it's overlapping them. So it's kind of melding them together. If we look at this red circle, that's what's called the melt pool. And it makes this kind of melted part between both layers and paths. If we zoom in close, we can see that they're both overlapping in the Z and in the XY. This makes for a really, really strong material when it's laid down. So I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward through this so we can see the machining part. Okay, let's slow it down. So here it's coming in and actually machining away, let me speed up a little bit, the material that I laid down. Now it's really interesting, if you look at the pattern, the material that was laid down, it almost looks like it's, like it's laced together. And that's because of that melt pool that uh, it uses to bind those layers together. So there it's gonna go ahead and rough it all out. And then there's the finish pass. If you have any questions at all about advanced technologies, hybrid manufacturing, programming in Gibbs Cam, any of that stuff, please reach out to your local resellers. We would love to hear from you. Thank you very much.